Hi again, here we are to continue talking about making games with SpriteKit, and uh, what I'd like to do today is talk about using um, labels. And uh, we'll just get started and make a sample label, but then maybe we'll, you know, rework this into a class to handle, um, you know, the score and maybe the distance traveled, right? But the first thing we need to know when we're using labels is that, you know, they can have a font, and then there's a couple steps you need to follow in order to get a custom font into your program. So our game looks like this now. And what I'd like to do is I'd like to put a label up in this corner. Okay. So uh, what I'm going to do first is let, let's just make a label. Okay. So I'll go to game scene. So we're in game scene.swift. And then at the top of game scene, I'll add a new property. I'll say let score label. Um, and then I'll give it the type of an SK label node. So an SK label node is essentially um, a block of text that you know you can display. You can set the the text that's displayed. You can position it. You can set the font size, the color, um, and the font. Okay. You can also give it some alignment properties. So anyway, so we've got our score label here, and probably we want to actually move this into some class that's going to, you know, hold on to this and kind of work with it a little, you know, in a little more abstract way. But for right now, just to get the, the custom font thing working, um, we'll just use this. So, you know, since this is a, a let and it's a variable here, we'll have to declare it or give it a value before we call super init, if you recall from the earlier video. So let's say score label equals SK label node. Okay, and we can initialize SK label node with a couple different initializers. Essentially, the one that we want right here is font named. Okay, and for right now, um, let's just set the font to Helvetica. Okay, so Helvetica there, and then we'll use a custom font in a moment. Okay, so we've got Helvetica, and now what we need to do is we need to set up the score label. So we have to add it to our display and then show it on the screen. Okay, so a couple things are going to happen here. Um, let's actually put it in here right after um, physics world. So let's say add child score label. Okay, now if we do an add child here, the score label will be part of the scene. And if you recall, our camera is moving. So if the camera moves, you know, the score label will get left behind. So if we want the score label to always appear in the upper left corner, we need to attach it to the camera. So what we're going to do is we're going to say um, camera node dot add child score label. So now the score label is attached to the camera. So if the default position of score label is x of 0 and y of 0, then the score label will appear in the middle of the screen. We might want to set the z-index on this too to make sure that it appears in front of everything else. Um, so uh, yeah, why don't we do that just to make sure. So let's say score label dot z position equals, you know, 999. Okay, so, um, oh yeah, and then let's also give the score label some text. So let's say uh, score label dot text equals, and let's say, you know, you have a score of, you know, some giant number like that because you're doing really well. And then we'll uh, test the movie here or test the uh, the project. And there's our score label, right? Hey, that looks pretty good. That looks like Helvetica. It's in the middle of the screen. So a couple things to notice about this, okay? Um, like other sprites, the score label has an anchor point that's in the center, okay? Since we've attached it to the camera node, 0, 0 is the center of the screen. So in order to get the score label to appear in the upper left corner here, we'll want to um, set the uh, score label dot position x equal to size dot width divided by 2, right? We're going to have to do a little more than this, but uh, um, actually we'll want to do negative to or negative width, right? Because I want to move it to the left. You know, if I made this a positive number, the score would go to the right, okay? And then the, the y position is going to be size dot height divided by 2. So positive numbers for the height are going to go up. Negative numbers are going to go down. 
uh, positive numbers for width are going to go to the right and negative numbers are going to go to the left. Now, if we do this, the center point of our text should be in exactly the upper left corner, and that's not quite right still. So, you know, um, actually that seems to have moved it like way off the screen. Um, let's try another thing here. So I, I think that should be about right. Um, <clears throat> I think we should be seeing it. Um, but uh, we still need to do some adjustments, so we'll come back to that, right? Um, one other thing is the score or text uh, SK label node has an alignment, a text alignment property. Let's type a line or a vertical and horizontal alignment mode is what it's called, right? So the horizontal alignment mode has a couple values. It can be um, center, which is the default, left or right. So essentially, if I'm going to put the text on the left side, I want it to be, you know, its alignment mode to be on the left, okay? So that the text moves or writes itself from left to right, okay? So we'll do that, and then we'll say score label, oops, not core video supports, we want score label dot vertical alignment mode equals top, okay? So now, you know, we're going to align at the top left corner of the text, right? Let's see if that gets it to show on the screen. Um, oh, yeah, there we go, right? So you can see the upper left corner is right here, and the text is, um, you know, flush into that corner, right? Okay, so that's working pretty good. But actually, you know, I, I like this, but I'd like to have, like, a little bit of margin. I'd like to move the text down and to the, to the right a little bit, right? So maybe I'll do this. I'll say um, text width plus, you know, 10 points and y minus 10. So, you know, the plus 10 will move us to the right, minus 10 will move us down, right? Oh, so that's looking pretty good. And then you can set the font size. So maybe that font is a little bit large. So I'll say, uh, you know, font size equals, let's do uh, 20 points. Maybe that's bigger, actually. I think I think the default is like 16. Um, I don't know, maybe it was 24 or something, right? So that looks like a pretty good size there, right, for a game. And uh, so anyway, so that'll get us started. And I think on the next pass, what we'll do is we'll add a custom font to this, right? So our label can display itself with any font that we choose and something more interesting than Helvetica, okay? So anyway, thanks for watching, and I hope that helps you out there.